Hi, remember that cute kid? What was his name? Let me remember. Mm. Got it. Murtaza Ahmadi. You probably remember this beautiful story. If not, let's remember. Murtaza is the kid with polyethylene Leo Messi jersey who blew up the world in 2016. It all started with an unusual tweet of unknown internet user who guessed that kid is from Iraq. Nevertheless, Murtaza was found in the forgotten village that is located in eastern Afghanistan, the Ganzi province. Leo Messi himself wished to give a share to the kid and to meet him personally. That meeting happened at the end of 2016. Amazing story. Like a fairy tale. But did you know, my dear friend, that fairy tales can turn into nightmares? Guys, who is your idol? Who would you like to meet in person? Write in the comments below. We are gonna read it all. And while you're writing, we would like to recommend you our new project called Football News. If you were searching for a football channel where you could find the latest news every day, then you finally found it. In 6-8 minutes, we will tell you about what happened in the world of football. Just relax, watch and keep in touch with the main news. Cool, isn't it? The link on the channel is in the card up there. Subscribe and do not miss that opportunity. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, fairy tales can easily turn into a nightmare. Indeed, after meeting with his idol, Murtaza's life became more complex. After the worldwide fame, Kid's family faced the other side of glory. Ahmadi's family started to be threatened. Life turned into a nightmare to us, told family's father Mohammed Arif. I am afraid that someone wants to kidnap my son. Family suspected local gangs, but it was much more serious. They were threatened by Taliban. At the end of the millennium, Taliban ruled in Kabul and even turned the main stadium in Afghanistan into a gigantic scaffold. That is why those threats were serious. The decision was made to move to Pakistan. The family temporarily moved to Islamabad, but they couldn't afford a place to live in the capital. That is why they moved to the town of Quetta. But then, Ahmadi's family was deported back to the village. They hoped to obtain a political asylum in the USA. But there was also a misunderstanding. El Pais writes, According to France Press, father, under the cover of the night, took out his family in Kabul, a safe place in Afghanistan, and then went back to the village to work and feed his family. The family lives in fear of Murtaza's kidnapping since 2016. Gangs think that Messi took custody in him and sends him thousands of euro every time. But that is not true. Lionel just gave him a shirt, a signature and a bow. There were threats that they will find and kill him, Boy's mother told. The family is in despair. Mom is afraid to let her son out. Murtaza doesn't go to school and rarely plays football. When they were moving to Kabul, mom covered his face with a veil, so no one could find out who he was. We're afraid that something bad will happen if someone will find out who he is, a disturbed mother shares. The family left their native village in a hurry and with panic. The boy couldn't even bring with himself the gifts Lionel Messi gave. Shirts with signatures and a ball did move to Kabul. That's all because Taliban attacked. Murtaza is 9 now. He missed football and his presence from Leo Messi very much. We had no time to take anything. We had to run away having nothing but our clothes on ourselves. Told mother about that same night when they escaped from the village. The family asked Leo Messi's help, but not even a single newspaper didn't report about the Argentinian's reaction. Or at least about the fact that message was delivered from the family of Murtaza Ahmadi to the leader of Barcelona. Guys, with this video we would like to attract your attention to kids' problems who is sympathized by the whole football world. When I grow up, I want to be just like Messi, told Murtaza. I like the shirt that my brother made, but it's a pity that there is no football pitch around here. But I'm still going to be like Messi, I love him, he is the king. Maybe 20 years later they will come together on the pitch and play in some exhibition match, when Murtaza will be the leader of Barcelona. 
I want my son to be an Afghan Messi, dreams his father. Just imagine what a happy ending would have this horror story. The boy is 9 and he is still a fan of Messi and receives new shirts with an idol on his chest. We just hope that he's still fine. Guys, thanks for watching. Watch suggested videos and subscribe. Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice day. Bye bye.